Welcome to Flannel Acres. We are going to do a, like a second version of finding tomato worms with a black light. Uh, the last time we tried this we used an incandescent bulb. It looks like a regular shaped light bulb, only it's coated to give it that black light kind of thing to it. Um, and I, somebody told me that a fluorescent bulb will work better for finding the worms. And so I bought this bulb here. Let me show you what I've got. This is what it looks like. It's one of those new like spiral shaped bulbs that you've been seeing in the stores in the last couple of years. Only this one's a black light. And we tested it out indoors, just kind of shining it around the house and it makes things glow a lot brighter than that other, other one that we had. So I have a hunch this will work better finding tomato worms than the other one that we had. So it's getting close to sundown here right now. Uh, we'll have to wait till it gets a little bit darker, but we'll turn this light on when it gets dark enough and we'll show you what we find. Um, we're hoping that we find some tomato worms out here when they're small. Um, normally we find them when they're humongous and we wanna get them before they do um, any damage. So we're hoping that with this light, we'll be able to go through our rows behind me here and find the tomato worms when they're little before they can do too much damage. Um, so we'll be back in a few minutes and try this out. Okay, we find one. Yep. See it? Yeah, there it is. I'm gonna move the leaf a little bit so you can see. There you go, it's glowing. Yeah, don't get poked. They grab good, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> you can break that little piece of branch off of there. There it is. It's not a very big one. Those are hard to see in the daylight. So there's that little devil that we got. It's still little but glad that we got it before it ate any of our tomatoes. So if you can find yourself a fluorescent black light, it works pretty good for finding these buggers. So go try it out. See you guys later.